Hey everybody, my name is Robert with Jones Technical Institute, located in Jacksonville, Florida. Today I want to talk to you about transmissions. What we have here is a manual transmission. This is the maker is an Eaton Road Ranger, also called Eaton Fuller. Uh, these are found in the majority of your semis. Uh, matter of fact, if we pan the camera, you can see each one of these semis actually have the, this uh, same type of transmission in it. They all have the Eaton Fullers in them. Um, this came out of a, uh, this is um, called a 10 speed, but it actually only has five gears on it. I'm going to explain how this works. First thing I'm going to do is show you what these, which each gear is. This gear in the very back right here, this is called your reverse gear. This one right here is your first, second, third, fourth, and the smallest one here is fifth or overdrive. How you get 10 gears is back here you have what's called a splitter. So it changes um, from what's called low range to high range. It has a different uh, different size um, gear. Okay. And then first becomes sixth, this becomes seventh, this becomes eighth, this becomes ninth, and this becomes tenth. Okay. When you're looking at all these, you look at all these gears. These right here on each side, these are called counter shafts. This is a counter shaft, this is a counter shaft. Right? What this does is if your engine's putting out, say, 1,400 pounds of torque, okay, what's going to happen is, is the counter shafts, um, it distributes the, the foot pounds. So you only get 700 on one side, 700 on the other for 14, uh, 1,400 pounds of torque, 7 and 7, 700, 700. The reason why you do that is because if you put, try to put all 1,400 pounds on one side, you're going to break the counter shaft. So they split this up so they can even out or, or cause the uh, differentiate the load. Uh, this transmission... Um, as you go down the road, it's going to progress through speed, and I'm going to show you how this works. It's real simple. You got these things in the middle. These are called sliding collars or sliding clutches. All right. How these work is as I'm spinning this, if you notice, this is where your transmission would bolt up to, or your drive shaft would bolt up to. I can turn this, and the spline right here is turning, but nothing's turning up here. This is because right now the vehicle is in, is in neutral position. Okay, this would be the end on your, if you have an automatic, this would be the end, this would be your neutral. What happens is, as I put this in first gear, now, as I turn this, this is where the engine would be connected, and as I turn this, you see, this is turning real slow. I'm turning this fast, but this is going slow. First gear is what's called your power gear. You don't get a lot of speed, but you get a lot of torque applied to the wheels, and this is what allows you to climb up hills, um, pull heavy loads, so on and so forth. As you progress down the highway, you come out of first gear. Now we're going to go into second gear. And now, as you can see, it does turn a little bit faster. Come out of second and the third. Third and the fourth. And then finally fourth in the overdrive or fifth. And then again, as we split, then we would go back to first gear, but this would actually be moving faster and it would be now sixth gear, okay? Um, with, the, um, with the reverse, I said this is reverse, all you do is when you shift it, it's gonna go right in here and now you're in reverse gear. And that's exact, that's the easiest uh, way to show you how a transmission works. Uh, just to show you what connects into it, these forks actually sit in the groove of the shifting collars or the shift their uh, sliding collars or sliding clutches. And as you go through the gears, what'll happen is it moves these collars back and forth, engaging them into the different gears that you put them in. So if you put it in first gear, it's going to go to first, second, third, fourth, all down the line. Anyways, that's the basic operations of a manual transmission. My name is Robert from Jones Technical Institute. Thanks for watching.